Hi, this is Ash, founder and president of Scientific Animations. Today I want to speak to you about migraines. Migraine is a neurological disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. It's characterized by recurring episodes of intense headache, often accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and sound. The severity and duration of migraine headaches varies from person to person. Migraine headaches are classified into two types, migraine without aura and migraine with aura. Migraine without aura is the most common type of migraine, accounting for about 80% of all migraine cases. It is characterized by a throbbing headache on one side of the head, often accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and sound. Migraine with aura, on the other hand, is characterized by a visual disturbance that occurs before or during the headache. The aura can include flashing lights, blind spots, or other visual disturbances. Migraine is believed to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Genetics play a role in migraine susceptibility, and studies have shown that certain genetic variations are associated with an increased risk of migraine. Environmental factors such as stress, lack of sleep, hormonal changes, certain foods or drinks, and environmental factors such as bright lights or strong smells can trigger migraine attacks. During a migraine attack, the brain's neurons become hyperexcitable, causing a wave of electrical activity that spreads across the brain. This wave of activity is believed to cause the release of chemicals such as serotonin, which can cause blood vessels in the brain to constrict, leading to a decrease in blood flow and the characteristic headache pain. Migraine can be a challenging condition to manage, but there are several treatment options available that can help improve quality of life. The choice of treatment depends on the severity and frequency of migraine attacks, as well as individual preferences and medical history. Medications are commonly used to treat migraine and can include over-the-counter pain relievers such as acetaminophen, aspirin, or ibuprofen, which can be effective in relieving mild to moderate migraine headaches. Triptans are a class of drugs that are more effective in relieving moderate to severe migraine headaches. They work by blocking the release of certain chemicals in the brain that cause inflammation and pain. Anti-nausea drugs, such as metoclopramide or procloperazine, can be used to relieve nausea and vomiting associated with migraine. Preventative medication may be recommended for some people with frequent or severe migraine attacks. These medications include blood pressure drugs such as beta blockers and calcium channel blockers and antidepressants such as amitriptyline or venlafaxine. These medications are regularly taken to reduce the frequency and severity of migraine attacks. Lifestyle changes such as regular exercise, healthy diet, and stress management can also help prevent migraine attacks. Exercise can help reduce stress, which is a common trigger for migraine. A healthy diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein can also help prevent migraine attacks. It's important to avoid foods and drinks that are known to trigger migraines, such as caffeine, alcohol, and chocolate. Stress management techniques such as deep breathing, medication, or yoga can be effective in preventing migraine attacks. Alternative therapies such as acupuncture, massage, and cognitive behavioral therapy may also be effective in reducing migraine symptoms. Acupuncture involves the insertion of thin needles into specific points on the body to promote healing and alleviate pain. Massage therapy can help relieve muscle tension and promote relaxation, which can be effective in preventing migraine attacks. Cognitive behavioral therapy involves working with a the therapist to identify and change negative thought patterns and behaviors that may be contributing to migraine. This type of therapy can be especially helpful for people who experience stress or anxiety as a trigger for migraine. Another alternative therapy that has shown promise in reducing migraine symptoms is transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS. TMS uses a magnetic field to stimulate nerve cells in the brain and has been shown to be effective in reducing the frequency and severity of migraine attacks. In addition to medication, lifestyle changes, and alternative therapies, there are other approaches that can be helpful in managing migraine symptoms. These include biofeedback, 
This technique involves learning how to control certain bodily functions, such as heart rate, blood pressure, and muscle tension, to reduce the frequency and severity of migraine attacks. Herbs and Supplements Some herbs and supplements, such as feverfew, butterbur, magnesium, and riboflavin, have been shown to be effective in reducing migraine symptoms. However, it is important to talk to a healthcare provider before taking any herbs or supplements to avoid potential interactions with medications. Botox injections. Injections of botulinum toxin, or Botox, can be used to treat chronic migraine. Botox is injected into specific muscles in the head and neck to reduce the frequency and severity of migraine attacks. Migraine can have a significant impact on daily life, including work, school, and social activities. It is important to seek medical help if migraine symptoms are interfering with daily life or if they're becoming more frequent or severe. Preventing migraine attacks is an important part of migraine management. This can be done by avoiding triggers, taking preventative medication, and making lifestyle changes. Keeping a migraine diary can help identify triggers and patterns of migraine attacks, which can inform a personalized prevention plan. It is important to work with a healthcare provider to develop an individualized treatment plan that is tailored to each person's unique needs and preferences. Now, migraine can be a challenging condition to manage, but with the right treatment and support, it is possible to improve quality of life and reduce the impact of migraine on daily activities. Seeking support from family, friends, or a healthcare provider can be helpful in managing migraine symptoms and coping with the emotional and psychological impact of the condition. So in conclusion, migraine is a common neurological disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by recurring episodes of intense headache, often accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and sound. Migraine is believed to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors that affect the brain's ability to process sensory information. Identifying and avoiding triggers, taking medication, making lifestyle changes, and seeking medical help can all help manage migraine symptoms and improve quality of life. Thank you for watching this video on migraine symptoms, causes, and treatment. If you have any questions or concerns about migraine symptoms, please consult a healthcare provider. If this video is helpful to you, please click on the like button and subscribe to more videos like this. Please also leave any comments in the comments section below. Thank you.